Hi, everybody. My name is Musa, and I am very excited to be here and talking to you. I will start with a brief introduction, and I have over 10 years of experience in the industry in different roles. I delivered both Greenfield 0 to 1 as well as Brownfield products that scales to millions of, millions of people. I joined Amazon right after my MBA degree, and as of this month, completing my 54 months here. And during this tenure, I have been to multiple roles. And as of latest, I am a senior technical product manager in Amazon Fulfillment Technologies. With this presentation, I am hoping to give some uh, value in 20 to 25 minutes under these three take-ons, which are enjoying the journey, letting your curiosity guide you, and be proud of your individual progress towards your goal to being a technical product manager. I would like to start with a short story. The person you see on the screen is Reed Hoffman. After graduating from Stanford, Reed Hoffman wanted to be an academician, but Pete had other plans for him, gigantic plans to be precise. He joined Apple Computers, where he worked on a project called eWorld, which was more or less than an early version of what we now associate and understand as a social network. Post Apple, he created another social networking platform by the name of SocialNet. Reid kept on inculcating his learnings, and thus, at the ripe of age of 35, and this is important, he used all his past failures as the building blocks of his mega success, which we all now know as LinkedIn. His net worth is estimated to be $3.2 billion. Rest, as they say, is history. I would like to keep this story in your mind that we will tie at the end of the presentation. Now, to start, let's take a step back and start with the innovation happening, the opportunities, and why you as a current product manager or a product manager candidate needs to be excited learning these opportunities, innovation, and technologies happening around us that will move us closer to our either career goals, team goals, or individual goals. I would like to pay attention to this innovation platform. This is not all exclusive, and there are still many more, but these are the bigger ones that we can classify under these categories between 2020 to 2030. And as you can see, these are the platforms that incorporates AI, better technology, gene sequencing, blockchain, and robotics. And as you can see, the growth expected to between 26% to 51% year over year, compared to 3% growth of non-innovation areas. And we can easily say that if this expected growth happens, there are a lot of technologies that will 10x. And in this case, it is why you need to be excited to explore these areas, whichever speaks to you, as well as being in a space, an elevator that is going up so that both yourself, your teams, your friends, or anybody you work closely will benefit. And in this space, I would like to briefly talk about the AI that I personally, I am personally excited. 
which incorporates machine learning, deep learning, um, cloud computing, internal of the things, and mobile connected device. And we can see that accelerating these computational technologies, um, integration into all economic sectors, media platform, in other knowledge worker or other spaces will be immensely affected from this. And I still believe we are at the very early stages of this. And this is an area for me to explore. And I highly recommend to take a look that can make you also excited. So moving on, it is especially important to ask great questions about ourselves and the team or people that we are working so that we can get great answer. And in order to have this great question, we need to start with a simple question. In your, in your journey to be a technical product manager, we'll start with, do you need to come from a technical background to be a technical product manager? The short answer is no. It really depends on where you want to move, what you are willing to learn and explore. And as a second question, do you need to be technical to be a tech product manager? And my short answer to this uh, will be yes. You need to at this have a, a true understanding of the area that you are working on to communicate your ideas or and other opportunities to other team members in a simple manner. To further expand, so we started with the high level overview of the technology. Now going a little bit deeper here. What does it mean to be a technical for a product manager? and came up with a couple of categorization over here. This is not all exclusive, as you might guess, that there are still other areas that can be incorporated, but it is safe to say when you look at the what the customer pain points needs to be solved and what companies really need in order to drive their products, they need product managers that can understand either data science engineering, which is either in software, hardware, mechanical. Um, product managers understand design, product design UX, as well as the people with the domain knowledge, such as e-commerce, cloud, or banking. You might need only one, or you might need more of these. And it really depends on what you are excited and willing to explore. But it is important to remember that as a product manager, you are the visionary one, the creative one, the long-term thinker, the connector that forces and pushes the team and makes everybody's job easier. Because at the end of the day, a successful product is a product of a successful team, which means you are successful. And in this situation, you are in a position to tie the business goals with the customer pain points in a graceful manner. So at this point, you might be thinking, uh, is it necessary to come from a technical background? In some cases, it really helps. But again, personally, even though I was an electrical engineer, I came from another form of engineering. I wasn't very familiar with the software, the backend systems, the AI, the front end, and other technologies that I currently work. It just started with a simple step, going back to four to five years ago, that I started came excited and exploring these areas. It's important to remember that your ROI as a product manager is goes beyond these technical specialties. Because at the end of the day, another engineer or a data science or designer can step up and do the product manager roles. In some cases, they do. But as a product manager candidate or a current product manager, 
your value to the team, customers, and business came from your ability to be communication and being a visionary that pretty much understand what's going on with all the teams, either tech or business side. So I will give some exa examples of where you can start your journey that you can combine your technical and product manager skills. This is specific to what I do. It is not by all means that you can uh, start with these recommendations or anything, but it can give you an idea where you can start and where you can go dive deep and explore. So in my journey, again, as you might be familiar, I started with the CS50 um, Harvard uh, course, which is one of the most popular computer science courses. It is promoted by many articles and roadmaps on programming. And here, the differentiation factor for me was, unlike many other boot camps or programming courses that teaches, um, teach beginners several, uh, beginners several tricks, uh, for one of the programming languages, um, CS15 from Harvard really focused on the concepts that can really give you an edge uh, to understand high level uh, of the software and computer programming language that helps you communicate. And I started this course two times, first when I was learning to program and then when I had a uh, 20 years uh, of professional experience. Another one that really can help you is understanding the le latest trend in the cloud computing. In here, there are <clears throat> a lot of vendors incorporating Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. And I personally started exploring AWS, got certification with both solutions architecture and data analytics. And as you might guess, cloud computing is the next frontier of the digital transformation. And it really has changed the way the companies and customers view and interpret the data. And as of right now, it is increasingly became the backbone of many IT solutions and operation for the past decade. And when you work with either solutions architects or software engineers or data science, you might see a lot of terms in cloud computing that you need to get familiar, be it a networking, databases, data warehouses, data lakes, security, or mobile devices. Going a step further, if you are started your preparing your journey to be a technical product manager, you might heard that some companies uh, require a system design uh, runs during their interview. And no matter what type of <clears throat> role you are, knowing system design will definitely make you more well-rounded and get you more success in your career. If you know what's going on under the hood, you are more likely to build solutions that are better suited to the needs and limitations of your system. In, in this uh, case, for example, if you are working on a or going to an interview with a company that has works on cloud storage, the questions might be similar to design a Dropbox. And over here, it is understand how this backend system connects to each other. And next two will be, I want to briefly mention about learning SQL and Python. Starting with the SQL, again, be it a developer, a product manager, or a business analyst, SQL helps in upskilling the career. And I still remember to this day, one of the questions I get is, was if I know how to write SQL. And it's really helped during my tenure in Amazon 
the skill, the understand, the pull the data whenever I need, manipulate it. And it is the most in-demand skill as it is robust and easy to learn programming language. <coughs> and if you are interested in machine learning area like me, Python is a very popular programming language today and often needs an introduction level. You don't need to go very detailed, but it is widely used in various business sectors, such as programming and web development, machine learning, especially data science. So given its widespread use, again, you can either also start with other languages, such as R or Java, but Python comparatively easy to learn and one of the top programming language that I will encourage you to take a look and start exploring. And if needed, going deeper into this uh, programming language. And another areas of expertise that you might need is being a data-minded product manager, especially in the tech space. And over here, understanding the A-B testing that allows um, individuals or companies to make careful changes to their um, user experiences while collecting data on the result, using statistical testing, and speaking with the data is a cutting edge skill. I highly encourage you to start exploring. Another you, um, powerful design tool such as Figma the BXD, it really depends on your team or what um, companies bring, uh, trying to bring up, but you can have a good overview understanding with these tools to speak with the data. Another important skill that we can really categorize as a technical skill for a product manager is writing in English, crisp writing. And especially if English is your second language, like me, it is important to strive to be get better and better every day. And it can be tougher. But once you start writing in a clear and concise manner, it can really help you to communicate to the business leaders and other teams around you. One recommendation I can say is keeping the purpose clear in your mind. And as we say, the simplification is a form of innovation. So you can reinvent a complex or seeming to complex um, product issue or subject by trying to simplify writing good, and that can really give you an edge. And lastly, again, this is not something that can really um, will give huge advantage, but if you want to explore, side projects are a great way to build your portfolio and showcase what you can do. It can help you learn new skills, develop your technical skills, and honestly get around to the uncertainty because starting something is uh, pretty challenging. And if you want to be, uh, become a product manager, I highly recommend that you work on side projects. And they will help you with marketing yourself as a product manager candidate, show off the important traits like accountability, leadership, and problem solving ability, which is extremely important in product management space. And another recommendation over here, I come to find on the online that I will link the resource, is these radar charts. And to honest evaluation of your either technical business skills as a product manager, you can use something similar and match it with the requirement of the job description. And as you progress towards your career, starting with the associate product managers, product manager, senior, uh, towards director, you can look uh, the progress that you have made, what you need to work on, what's your areas of strength and opportunities. And combining this again, going back to our high level overview, the 
Arias that is exciting, such as blockchain, better technologies, autonomous movement, and 3D printing. Combining this, the lower level learning that can really propel uh, your technical product manager careers. And finishing up, like how these skills can enable or enhance you. At the end of the day, these skills are here to motivate you so that you can drive decisions making across teams, working backwards from customers, helps you with your critical thinking and root cause identification, setting and driving strategy, anticipating the future needs of the business as we discussed. A lot of days you will manage the complexities and ambiguity and establishing a clear communication cadence inside your team as well as cross-functionally. So I will add that the more you are away from the shore, the deeper oceans get. And it's important to understand where you need to explore more and where you need to stop. But it, it is never too late to explore. You just need to start with a simple step. So thank you very much for bearing with me. And feel free to connect me on LinkedIn. And have a great day.